Alright guys, it's officially Friday. Woohoo! Friday! First, the contest. So of all the names I, I have picking up from school and YouTube, the winning name is Cleo Saris. So that will not be officially in the book. And uh, and this and this is uh, and this is our beast. More more about it later. This is our monster. Thanks thanks for everyone. Now the shout outs. All right, from first off the the first on um, the first um, YouTuber, the first YouTube comment I got from my my first video is from is from Banana Man sixteen. Thanks for the support. Next is, next is Chaotic Cringe. I, I, I gotta help me out with this. Get, get all the setups for that. His hey, cool videos. Check them out. Check all them. Check all them out. And that bucket though. Thank, thanks, guys, for watching. Now, uh, since this, since I don't have any questions or answers yet, this is this is um this is like this is all new stuff. So more more of that later on. Now the movie, the movie I will try doing, try be doing over, over, on Saturdays and probably Sundays if I, if I get free time. All right, so I officially got the prologue done for my for my book. The book, the book title is Secrets in the Tunnel. Got all the written down stuff. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get all the some um, stuff ready to go, and then while we're doing that, my get, get yourself, get yourself comfortable, get a chair or something, get a pillow, and then we'll start, start, start the story. Right. How's that look? Oh, nice, 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 nice. That's pretty good. All right. Oh wait. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. Hey, no, no, I don't need, I don't need it. Okay. Let's jump into this. The prologue. April 7th, 2017. The time is 10.15 p.m. Oh, no, yeah, 15, 57, sorry. The lamppost gave an eerie glow in the fog of the night. The houses stood still and quiet as the silhouettes of the tall pine trees stayed, swayed silently in the chilling wind. Surely Luna Creek, a small gentle neighborhood, would never be involved with the Luna Creek facility. If you stepped into the neighborhood, realizing no one was there, because no one was, an, evacua an evacuated area without life, how would I know? At the time, I was in the creek. Do you ever get the feeling, the feel, that, that, that feeling, being alone in the dark, the paranoia of thinking something was with you? I'd always wished what followed behind me and Danny that night was just the paranoia. Assuming running running out running out of the woods in the middle of the night was something I I would not want to do on, on a Saturday. Danny and I rushed out of the woods in panic, our hearts beating faster than a cheetah's. In my hands, an AK-47, stolen from the facility, strapped around me to keep safety. Dan Danny held his camera, still recording by the way, for the past three hours, and a smoke bomb. It was it was a ravage theft? Survival required us to break in and steal this crap. All, all, the, all this would make sense later on, but but but, but for now it didn't matter. This is this is a large game of survival. I thought long long into the matter of the effects uh, the effects afterwards if I made it out alive. And then and they shouted they shouted as I contemplated this. Hurry, two minutes before the bomb goes off. Danny Danny yelled. It snapped me out of my thoughts. We sprinted down the road to the house in the fifty drive. About a one-story house with gravel, the gravel for the gravel for the driveway. We raced across the gravel. Alex and Liz holding the door open. Did it work? Is it ticking? Alex asked. Danny and I catching our breath. I say to them, "Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. What's the time?" Liz went to the kitchen. Ten fifty-nine p.m. Get down! She yelled. Diving to the floor. The rest of us did did the same. Then the ground shook violently. The shelves and furniture rumbled. The, the blast exploded in the creek. As the sound of the blast became lowered, we four we four heard the shrill the roar of the beast. Our minds in, unsure of what happened. As it all as it all settled down, I had to ask myself, how did it all come to this? I had always thought Luna Creek was a quiet place, no monsters, no life or death situations. This journal was written after the events of the Luna Creek incident. I'm David, 
a kid in high school. A kid who has, who has seen things I probably should never should have had. We read Mason goosebumps down her spine. Nightmares of paranoia beyond, beyond belief. But the incident wasn't just a horse type of story. I thought once that this was going to be the this could be the night that was all about to happen. That was all. It's all going to stop. Then I, then I kind of, kind of realized the night the night it escaped. Then I, I screwed up, putting everyone in danger. Because of my mistake, people are dead, missing, and they all know who did it. All of you, all of your questions will be answered. Rest assured. These events are true at the last detail. Death greets us in many ways. A dream. A fatal accident. Even, even on the brink of jumping off a high ledge, you, you should know it's going it's to come after you. It's gonna come after you. Once I let the creature out, I met death. With claws and teeth long and sharp. The term uh, not of this world defined the creature. A master plan ruined because of something I shouldn't have seen. It hunted us and prowled the creek. Nightmare fuel for days on end. How did it begin? I pondered this question for weeks. The chills of its purpose. How it snatched so many without a warning. I regret everything that took place in the creek. All the people I cared about. The people I've lied to. Every day since then, I hated myself for it. I guess it all started for me when Danny moved into Little Creek. One thing led to another, and we found it. And we began to unravel the secrets of the, in the tunnel. And that is the first. And that is the first part of the book. Now, write in the comments what you think about it. Chris's criticism is totally okay. Um, so that's the first part. I will be doing a book chapter every every week on Friday. Questions and answers will be an will be answered. That's a rest assured. Um, thanks for all, thank you all, thank you all for the contest. The creature is now officially named. And um, shout out, shout out to all you people. Get more viewers. So you have more shout outs. Subscribe, like, and tomorrow I will start getting stuff ready for a movie. All right, guys, thanks for watching.